Good morning, everybody. Happy Monday. Today is Monday. Gosh, what is today? How can I forget the day? Today is Monday, July 18th. Naima Singletary here, BillionDollarCourage.com. I'm very happy to be here with you today. And there's so much going on with me as far as development, personal development is concerned. But the one thread that is ever present and it's a forever ongoing process that I want to discuss today is the inner game of success. It's what's going on up in here. And even though I'm pointing to my head, it's not necessarily what's in your head. It's like what's in your body. It's like what goes from your head into your body to it is your belief where it's not a third or fourth thought. It's a primary thought. It's the thought that you are it. It is your way of being. And what I am recognizing is that there is an immersion that needs to take place for us to really cultivate the habitual way of being, the habitual way of thinking. And so what I'm realizing is we have to like beat the subconscious mind with the thought. We have to beat it, 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 beat it. And I have an excellent example for you. Late January of this year, I wrote down a phrase. As a matter of fact, let me grab it for you. I wrote down this phrase on this piece of paper uh, because it was a new year and I was like, I want to have an anchor for the year of the person that I am t intending to be. And I was looking through quotes to see which one resonated with me. And this one right here resonated with me. I'm going to read it to you. And I wrote this down on a piece on it right here. This little old thing. See how beat up it is? I wrote this down January of this year. It says, I prefer to be true to myself, even at the hazard of incurring the ridicule of others, rather than to be false and to incur my own abhorrence. I wrote this down in January and I posted it on my wall and I would say it every day, several times a day to the point where I memorized it. I prefer to be true to myself, even at the hazard of incurring the ridicule of others rather than to be false and incur my own abhorrence. Basically meaning I rather be true to myself and who I am and as opposed to being false and pretending to be somebody else for other people and then being pissed with myself in private. That's basically what that says. So I did that for about two weeks, repeating that every day, multiple times a day. And I and I moved. And so I put it away, put it in my luggage and left. And for the last two weeks, that phrase has been coming to my mind without with no trigger, meaning it has not been in front of me to remind me to say it. It has just been coming up and through me. And it's like, wow, wh where did this come from? And I was going through this little pouch that this was in. And I found this and it's like, wow, there's the example of you impress something upon your mind over and over and over and over and over again. And it starts to reveal itself. It starts to become a real thought, a real way of being. And this, these videos that I produce, these are me. This is me. This is me. <laughs> and that is what this is about impressing over and over and over and over and over. You have to be, so there's an immersion that has to happen because we are habitual. You know, the studies um, prove that we have anywhere between 50 and 70,000 thoughts every single day, between 50 and 70,000 thoughts every single day. And the majority of those are thoughts from yesterday. They're the exact same thoughts. Therefore, Whatever is in your mind will repeat itself over and over and over again. So you have to intentionally drop thoughts that you want to have into your mind so you can continuously push them onto your subconscious. There's a retraining that has to happen. And every day I am retraining myself. I have things on my wall. Look, I'm going to see if I can get the, look at that on my wall. Wait, can I, look at that on my wall. Look at this on my wall. Let me see if I can see those on my wall. Look at this. You see that on my wall? And then if you go in the bathroom, there's even more on the wall. This is an immersion. So there's not only that. During the day, every day, I'm pushing this stuff through my head. And it is, my confidence is through the roof. My activity is so intentional, so on purpose. I'm in alignment. Then I also write my vision in present tense every morning and every night. I'm going to create a program that helps you to immerse, that helps you to design these thoughts, create the thoughts that you want to have. Because life, the life that you want is created by design. Nobody gives it to you. You create it. 
I'm creating mine and I'm going to show you how you can create yours. So I'll create that and I'll let you know when it's done, okay? Naima Singletary, BillionDollarCourage.com. I love you. Have a fantastic week. I am here every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Like the video, share it with your friends, and love yourself, guys. Have a great day. Peace out.